Let's observe the sun's reflection right here. Just wait, the sun will come back. It's bad for your eyes to look straight at the sun. So we'll use this inky liquid to watch. Water basin. Huh? The sun is already back in the sky. Bayan, what is going on? Before I left, I asked Uncle Dola to tell you guys the legend of the sun because there is a solar eclipse today. Solar eclipse? Huh? So a solar eclipse is what it's called when the sun disappears? But why does a solar eclipse happen? A solar eclipse happens when the moon blocks out the sun. The moon travels around the Earth on its own orbit and the Earth travels around the Sun on a different orbit. The diameter of the Sun is about 400 times larger than the Moon. And the distance between the Sun and the Earth is also about 400 times greater than the distance between Earth and the Moon. And therefore, from our perspective on Earth, the sun and the moon appear to be the exact same size. So when the moon travels around the earth and is directly between the earth and the sun, the moon blocks out the sun. This is what we call a solar eclipse. But there are different kinds of solar eclipses. The kind we saw today where the sun is blocked completely is called a total solar eclipse. When the moon passes by the side of the sun and blocks off a portion of the sun, it's called a partial solar eclipse. Because the Earth is not in the central point of the moon's orbit, sometimes the moon is further away from the Earth. And the moon appears smaller to us. So, when a solar eclipse happens, the smaller looking moon can't cover up the whole sun. This is called an annular solar eclipse. But, Looking at the solar eclipse directly will harm your eyes. So by pouring ink into a water basin, we can safely observe the solar eclipse. 